Hi everyone, it's Autumn here. I'm going to show you how I generally edit newborn photos, just to give you an idea. There's lots of different ways to get to the same end in Photoshop. Um, I'm using Photoshop Elements, I guess I should mention. But there's lots of different editing techniques. My way is certainly not the best way, I'm sure, um, but it works for me and I just wanted to give you an idea if you're kind of new to editing so you can try some things out. So we're going to start with this image right here um, and we're going to work on it until we get to something that looks like this. Uh, you'll notice the eyes are a little brighter, the skin is smoother, there's no big scratch on the cheek, the crop is tighter. It's just really a much nicer photograph. So let's get started. The first thing I always do when I'm editing is adjust my levels to make sure that the picture's bright enough for me. So if you just hit Command L, that'll bring up a levels box. You can grab the rightmost arrow, pull it a little bit towards the left. That adjusts your highlights and makes these areas a little bit brighter. Don't go too far or else you'll lose detail in them. See how bad that looks. So we just come in a little bit. Then we can grab the middle arrow to adjust the mid-tones. Brighten those up just a little bit as well. I always like to grab the dark areas and move it to the right just a smidge to bring some contrast back. Because when you lighten the mid-tones, you can lose some of the contrast and the dark areas won't look as dark as they should. Okay, that looks good to me. Next thing I want to do is take care of these really large scratches um, that are really a distraction in the photo. And you get this a lot with newborns since they scratch themselves. Again, people have different ways of doing this, but I like to use the good old clone tool. Um, I am using a soft edge brush and I'm going to make it fairly small so that it's to begin with just a little bit bigger than the width of the imperfection. And I'm also going to use it at 100% right here. I get right close to the part I want to clone, hit the Alt or Option key to sample it out, and then click again to clone over that area. I am sampling before every time I click down to clone because I want to make sure I'm sampling the skin that's very closest to the area I'm trying to cover up. Okay, that looks good. If you look closely, you can still see some difference. So I'm going to increase my brush and grab a bigger area that has a lot of that texture and use that. It's a little bit lighter um, to match the skin tone a little bit better there. That pretty much takes care of it. Make a smaller brush to take care of these smaller scratches. Again, hit the Alt or Option key to sample out. And then just clone right over them. You can get rid of dry skin. You can get rid of really anything you want. And how much you clone is just going to be up to you because babies have lots of little pieces of dry skin. So you certainly don't need to feel like you need to clone every tiny little dot or every tiny little baby whitehead. You know, we just want to take out things that would be really distracting to the photo. All these other details can stay in because they show us what the baby really looks like. The next thing we want to do is make sure we have the best crop for the photo. So we want to get rid of this extra just distracting stuff here. I think I want to crop out the diaper because that's kind of distracting. And you want the eyes to end up in the top or bottom third and the right or left third. It's the rule of thirds. You want your most important thing to be in, um, in along the thirds lines. You can decide uh, whatever uh, size you'd like to crop it to. I usually do a 18 by 12, 12 by 18 because that's a 4 by 6 aspect ratio. Um, but it's still large enough that I can print it out to a great big print size if I'd like to. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to start our crop box here. Again, I want to make sure I'm just above that diaper. I want to make sure all this stuff's out of the way. I want to make sure that the eyes 
are in along a thirds line. It's okay if you take off just a little bit of the edge of the head, that's fine. Click the check mark to commit that change, and now we have a cropped image. So with that crop, we're well on our way uh, to getting to our final image. But we want to do just a little bit more. Oh, I actually got a little bit of diaper left in there. Let's, let's crop that a tiny bit tighter. So this would be fine to save and print out, but if you want to do a little bit more editing, I'd recommend going to Coffee Shop's website and downloading their Baby Powder Room Action. And I'll have a link in my post for that. It's a really nice action that allows you to do some skin smoothing and eye brightening and uh, lots of just little tweaks that make it a really beautiful portrait. It takes just a minute to run um, it's going to start making copies over here of your photo so that we can do things on different layers and help make things look a little bit better. I should mention that Rita's first layer is called a red skin repair layer and I usually skip that one. I'll be skipping that today so if you want instructions for that check out coffee shop site but I'll run you through the other layers and what each of them do as we're almost ready here. Okay, so our very bottom layer is our background layer. So nothing has happened to change our photo yet. It's still the same. Then there's the red skin repair layer. I'm going to go ahead and skip. So we'll start with the skin smoothing layer. You want to hit B, grab your brush tool, make sure it's coming to white here. Make sure you have a soft edge brush again. And you want to start with your opacity at about 25%. You want a fairly large brush here. You can just hold down your mouse key and start brushing over areas of skin you'd like to smooth. Don't brush over eyes, don't brush over eyelashes or eyebrows because we don't want to lose details in those areas. But large parts, portions of skin that could just use a little smoothing. You can go ahead and go over them. I'm going to smooth a little bit much here just so that you can see the difference. I'm going to make it a little bit more drastic than I normally would. But you can already see how much of a difference it's making. So there's without the skin smoothing, all the details and wrinkles and hairs and everything came back. And then there's with the skin smoothing looks very smooth very um, it's it's so smooth it's almost like a doll here the nice thing is that you can change the opacity of this layer so that the smoothing is as as drastic or as subtle as you would like I like it fairly subtle so I can still see the little hairs and the little details so I'm gonna keep my layer opacity down to 38 percent but you can see that it still makes a difference it's still um, helps it to look, helps the skin to look a little bit nicer. We do the same thing for the lightening layer. You can see as I keep using my brush tool and brush over it, it's lightening this skin. This is to get a powdered effect. And I'll go ahead and make it fairly light just to show you how it works, how it looks. There's without the lightening and there's with the lightning applied. And I'm gonna dial that down just a notch as well. Okay, same thing with the skin glow. Still using that brush on white and we're still just painting over the areas of skin. We're avoiding the eyes. Okay, here's without the skin glow. And there's with the skin glow. It deepens the shadows a little bit, helps to make the brighter parts look like they're glowing just a little. Again, you can choose an opacity that you like. Okay, time for the eye defining. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so we can see this better. Make my brush a lot smaller because we just want to go over the eyes. And we'll also make the opacity a lot higher, up to 75%. Sorry, I'm on the wrong... There we go. Make sure you're on the layer mask as you do this. That 
and by that I mean make sure you've clicked on this on this black one not not the gray one okay and as we go over that you can see that the darkness and the detail in the eyes pop out just a little bit more there's without it there's with it again just deepens the eyes Okay, and then the last layer is this bright eyes right here. Make sure to click on that. We can take the opacity back down. It doesn't need to be so high. And we also want to make sure our brush size is really pretty small as well because we want to go over the iris and the whites of the eyes but not get the eyelid or any other part. So as we start going over that, you can see how it's brightening up the white of the eye, making it look brighter. And it's also brightening the iris so that you can see some color in there instead of it all just looking black, which is what a lot of babies' eyes, since they're generally so dark, a lot of them do just show up as black in photographs. So look at the eye. There's without the bright eyes. And there's with it. And again, you can adjust this, dial it down a little bit so that it's not too extreme. Okay, that concludes our editing. So you can go to layer and flatten your image. And you have a completely edited image. Really nice portrait. Beautiful skin, good crop. Just makes your picture as good as it can possibly be. Good luck!